Welcome to another episode of Butt Plug and Play, the Butt Plug software tutorial video series. In this episode, we'll be talking about the Game Vibration Router, or GVR. What the Game Vibration Router does is any PC game for Windows that can control a gamepad like this, this is just an Xbox gamepad, um, this software can take commands from that gamepad and also send them to sex toys. So if you have a game that's making the gamepad vibrate, kind of like this, then it will also make the toy vibrate whenever the gamepad vibrates. Now, a couple of things about this. First off, it does require Windows. And currently, it will only work with vibrating toys that butt plug supports. So we do actually support things like the ET312 B electro stem unit and thrusters like the flashlight launch. Unfortunately, those don't work with the GVR quite yet. They should fairly soon. We're just still working out some of the kinks there. So keep an eye on metafetish.com and really you can also just look at the video description for this video. And once we have those working, we'll let you know. Anyways, the way you use the software shouldn't really change uh, once those come up. So this tutorial should still be valid then. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we get into the tutorial, we wanna make sure no one gets hurt or banned or anything else negative while using the GVR. This is some new weird technology we've put together here. So let's go over a few things about responsible use. The GVR is a piece of novelty software made to be used with any Windows PC game that's X input compatible, which is a way of saying any game that can use and control Xbox or Xbox compatible game pads. This includes single player and multiplayer games with online and offline capabilities. For playing single player games, Go crazy, have fun, you do you. For multiplayer games, it's recommended that you only use the GVR for safe, positive, consensual situations. This is just a fancy way of saying only use the GVR in a private room or party with people that you know are of legal age for the proper geographic region. It is not recommended to use the GVR in public lobbies, as you are recontextualizing a game company's private network for teledildonics without the consent of the other players. Not only that, as player matchmaking usually works through either random pick or skill and not age verification, you may be matched with an underage player, at which point the legal situation gets difficult for everyone. Also, be careful using the GVR with streaming services. Check your streaming service EULA before showing the GVR working with sex toys, otherwise you may be banned for sexual content and that would suck. If you are a parent or someone who is worried about children using the GVR, the GVR is useless to anyone who does not have access to hardware supported by the Buttplug Intimate Hardware Control Library which is mostly made up of expensive sex toys that can only be ordered online. If you believe there may be issues with this, talk to your child. In less important warnings, we do not know how anti-cheat software will react to the GVR, so we do not recommend using it with games that may involve anti-cheat measures like VAC. We take no responsibility for any loss of content or accounts due to using the GVR with these games. You are on your own. With all that out of the way, let's see how the GVR works. Now first off, you're going to want to download the Game Vibration Router. It's free and open source, and you can download it from any of the URLs listed here. Also, you can just go through the butt plug tutorial, which shows you how to download it, install it, and use some of the different programs that come with the app suite. Also, the GVR has been known to sometimes trigger malware detectors like Bitdefender and antivirus software when attaching to a game. You may need to exempt the GVR if you are having problems attaching to games. If you have any problems, feel free to post on our forums or check the source code out on GitHub to see exactly what it's doing. Okay, now let's see what it takes to get the game vibration router up and running. So we'll select the application from the start menu. And once it comes up, we want to go to the Devices tab. We need to find devices before we start up a game so that the devices can be controlled by the game. We'll hit Start Scanning, and I've already got a couple of Lovin's devices sitting here waiting for discovery. So there they are. Now, in this list, you will actually need to select devices when they come up. This is so we can tell the game which hardware to actually route vibration or other control information to. If a device is not selected and is in this list, it will not actually get any commands. So we select both of them. And now we go back to our processes list. I'm not actually running a game yet, so I need to bring one up. Let's bring up Rocket League. Okay, now we've got Rocket League up and running, so we will want to go back to our game vibration router and hit refresh list. And there's our Rocket League process. We select it, 
hit attach to process, and now we can see by the message up here, we are attached to the process. That means anytime that Rocket League sends vibration commands to a gamepad, we will actually catch them and reroute them to the devices in our device list. Okay, now that we've seen how the GVR works and how to attach to a process and attach to devices, uh, we'll show you a demo in Rocket League. So we've already got the GVR up and running and it's already attached to devices and the process. So now we can just go into training and free play. In Rocket League, the controller will vibrate whenever the car is boosting or whether, whenever it hits anything. So as long as you're just driving around with regular acceleration, as you can see, nothing's happening. Now the second that I go and hit that ball though, there we go. Also, whenever I boost, There we go. So I have to actually go retrieve my vibrators now. Um, so that is it. Now you can just play the game, except there's a few more things vibrating than where there were before. And really with Rocket League, the best thing to do is actually get a goal. Because the goal explosions are the biggest vibration you can have. So there I quote unquote scored. Now that you know how to use the GVR, you can go and explore. Uh, I certainly don't have time to go and play all of the tens of games that are out there right now, so I need your help to figure out what games are best to use with this software. If you play a game that's pretty cool and you want to talk about it, go to our forums at metafetish.club and join the Game Vibration Router thread where we talk about compatibility with different games. Also, if you're interested in how the GVR works, I'll be publishing a new video soon talking about how we use Easy Hook and Trampolining to actually hook the functions in the video game to reroute the vibration functions. Also, I'll be making a new series of Let's Play videos called Will It Butt Plug, where we hook different games up to butt plug in the GVR and see how they work with toys. Please like and subscribe for all of this upcoming content, and until next time, keep butt plugging.